So Microsoft screwing with the start menu again. Are they totally messing up Windows 11 even more than they already have? Let's go ahead and uh, let, <laughs> let's find out. <laughs> hey everybody, Mr. On Demand Man with the master plan. We got a Windows 11 update. Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, new start menu. It's easy to make fun of Windows 11 from its constant integration of AI to its litany of bugs all the way to the original pretty tough system requirements. Many have felt put off by an operating system that is just supposed to work. But sometimes it doesn't. The latest start menu update didn't fill us with a predictable sense of dread or annoyance, however. It is instead a genuinely pretty useful update that will now allow users to more quickly access important files and apps. It's quite simple really. Users on the following builds or newer have received an update that not only puts all of your apps in a scrollable list but also allows you to change how the list is categorized. Much like the recommended or recently used features in the start menu, this gives quick access to apps you often use. There are two parts to, of this change I quite like. The first is the ability to change how it categories apps previously you had to go into the start menu settings to change how apps and files are shown, and you could only allow it to show most used apps or recommended files. Now it's an easy switch on the start menu between category, grid, and list. The second part I like is how far down you can scroll previously moving past the first few recommendations required opening up a few folders, which kind of defeats the purpose of having files easily accessible in the start menu. The extra clicks between you and the software you want to access are slowing down your work ultimately. There's only so much space on the taskbar for pinned apps before you're drowning in icons. If you would like to access this new function for yourself, you can sign up for the Windows Insider program, which then gives you the ability to choose your update channel. In my experience, Windows 11, the start menu has often felt like a bit of a middleman between me and the app I actually want to access. It takes a little moment to come up, then I search for an app which also takes a while to find. Then I can actually access what I'm looking for. A built-in scroll function with smart groupings should help my start function feel a tad less lethargic. I've just got to actually get access now. So let me know what you think about this new start menu down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't like it, also let me know down below why you didn't like it so I can try to do a better job in the future. I kind of think this new start menu might be a little useless because of the fact that, isn't this what the desktop's supposed to be for? Make folders, categorize your favorite apps, put them in the folders, and put them on your desktop. Microsoft has kind of forgotten what the desktop was supposed to be for. They've kind of made it like the desktop's not even supposed to be used for anything. And that, in my opinion, is a very bad thing. The desktop is the desktop. The start menu is just a start menu to get to everything. The desktop is where you should be putting your most important uh, apps that you open regularly on a daily basis. That is not what the start menu is for, in my opinion. So... In closing, uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, let me know what you think. Talk to you guys all in the next one. You guys have a great day.